young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. She had seen that there was no love in his heart, and as punishment she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? She doesn't quite fit in, she really 
imagination could have dreamt, for through a series of strange circumstances she found herself held captive inside a dark and foreboding castle, inhabited by a very odd collection of characters. Master will be furious if he finds out what we're up to. Well, we don't have to tell him, do we? There is nothing to worry about. No, nothing, just our entire future. Oh, pish posh. Hello there. Be our guest for dinner. We'll keep it simple. What are you talking about? What's going on? Come on, Mom. I'm a long chip, dear. Oh, dear. No need to worry. We'll keep it simple. Hi. Stop. Stop it, I say. Do you hear me? All of you. I said quiet. If we're going to do this, then let's do it. But of course, we must make her feel welcome. Esteemed madams and messieurs, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you. And now, we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents... Your dinner. Years 
we've been resting Need so much more than dusting Needing exercise, a chance to use our skills Most days we just lay around the castle I'll be back And Daisy, you are dead and don't say Daisy
has turned me down for the last time. No one says no to Gaston. Rejected me for it's more than I can bear. And not publicly humiliated. Yet I am disgraced. But I have a plan. Some has to protect our village. Kill the beast or he will kill your children. <laughs>
A little scared, not a one prepared. 